hey, so just briefly, uh, why do I do this? Why, why am I doing a video uh, about dads in recovery? Um, I, I just, I got to tell you that I'm driven for one thing. I, 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 there's part of me that doesn't want to do this. And, and uh, you know, and, and part of me that says, holy shit, who do you think you are and all of this. But I am a dad and, and I've been a dad for 40 some years. And, and uh, being a dad, when I became a dad, I, I sobered up shortly after. And, and because the first thing that became so apparent to me is I was so friggin' ill-equipped to be a father. I was, you know, 25, I guess, when I sobered up, but, but I was 25 going on 13, right? <laughs> and, and uh, uh, you know, I was immature and selfish and self-centered, and I had no friggin' idea how to do the job. And so this is kind of the, the, the beginning of, of what do I do here? And, I want you to know that I was able to coast along for quite a while. I stayed sober and I, you know, I kind of made a living and, and I was able to look after some of the things that, that I thought were important as being a dad. But <laughs> the shit really hit the fan and, and I, when my kids became teenagers. And, uh, you know, I didn't have a connection with them really. And, and uh, um, I, I was scared as a dad, you know, and I... So anyway, my kids became teenagers, and and then then and, and I and in that process, I got divorced and married another gal, and had another one. So I had a young one, and I had the older ones, and and, and it was a mess. And I was still, you know, <laughs> although I've been in recovery for a long time, I, I I can't say that you know that that I made a rapid ascent into maturity. <laughs> I didn't, you know, and, and uh, so I was still selfish and self-centered, not drinking and not using, but, and that was a gift, you know, I was able to work and certainly lots of good things came out of that, but I wasn't really dad material. And so this is, all of this is what I'm trying to give away or what I'm giving away to dads in recovery or sharing with dads in recovery because I looked you know, I uh, was in the 90s and I looked, you know, where do I find out information about being a good dad? I had two wonderful uh, ex-wives because that second marriage didn't last a long time. You know, I think she was looking for a mature man and I only bullshitted her so long, right? And uh, so, uh, and I started to look what, you know, where do I find out information? How do I become the dad that I want to be, you know, because I kind of pushed it off on them a lot, you know, and, and it wasn't, now that wasn't happening. I was faced with, with teenagers and, and the things that they go through and, and, uh, and, and, you know, the second family and all of that. And so, so I'm here to share that with you that <clears throat> a couple of things started to happen. One is I went looking for men who were dads and uh, they weren't necessarily in recovery, but I went looking for men who were dads. And I was on a relentless search. I have been really on a relentless search most of my life to, to, to grow up and, and to, you know, to change my thinking, to have a psychic change, to become, you know, a, a, I fancied myself a, a, a spiritual student as well. So a student of life, and, a, and that's been my, my search, really. And, and uh, so, so, you know, fast forward now uh, quite a few years, 20-some years, and the kids are grown up, and they have kids, and, and I'm working with young men a lot who are dads in recovery, and uh, there's, it's hard for men to find somebody to talk to about this job, and so often we don't even ask for help. So I've created this program to help men to see themselves and help men to find uh, to become better dads, to really understand the job. And, and uh, you know, some of the things that we deal with is men's relationship with their own dad. Mine was a bit, you know, uh, it wasn't, wasn't good. And a lot of that was, to be honest with you, I, uh, most of the evidence I had about my own father came from my mom, and my mom was not happy with him. And, and God bless her. Uh, and and uh, she was not happy. And, and so the things that I learned as a child about my dad were, a lot of it was hearsay. And I found out later that uh, 
and the old did. My dad did the best he could. He really did. Hi, Zach. I see you, buddy. And and uh, Zach's my buddy. And and but and dad's gonna and Zach is gonna be a dad, aren't you? One day. It's a uh, for sure he will be. And uh, um, so anyway. Uh, I found out about my dad, and it took me a long time to realize that my dad did the best he could. So we deal with that in the course, right? And uh, we also deal with another thing that I think is so important, is the relationship with the mother of our children. A lot of us are divorced. Or we're in a relationship, and, and, and we have, we're challenged on our parenting. You know, how do I be a dad, and how does, you know, what, and, and it's not the same. Being a dad's not the same as being a mom. It really isn't. And, and uh, so we deal with that in the course. And those are a couple of the things that, that we go on. Um, anyway, I, I love doing this. And uh, uh, if you know anybody that's a, that's a dad in recovery, or I want to talk to them and, and to see if they're qualified to do this. And, you know, if you want to talk to me about your dad, let's do it. You know, and, and uh, um, anything around this subject, I'm open to conversation. We're going to start a, a program in, in uh, October. But I'm open all the time to talk about this. And I want to actually talk to some men who maybe are in that spot that I was when it really, when the shit really hit the fan and I was freaked out, you know, about my kids as they became teenagers. And, and you know, my fear was that they were going to be an addict and alcoholic like me. And that scared the shit out of me. And it happened. Now I have two in recovery, you know. And that's a blessing. That's such a gift to have two in recovery. I made, uh, um, you know, anyway, we're going to do this this work together. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. And, uh, uh, yeah, drop a note on here. And uh, if you, if I'm going to put this on YouTube as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and, and make a, a comment. And, and we'll get connected. So that's it. DM me if you want to and we'll talk some more, maybe have a, a call. If you're a dad and you're wondering, you know, uh, you know, am I missing the mark? And I, that was my thing is that, you know, I didn't want to screw it up and I didn't really have a benchmark. So we're going to help you get a benchmark and, and, and to, to be more comfortable and confident and trusted as a dad. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks. Talk to you soon.